Friends, look at the below sentences and fill in the blanks choosing the correct word given in the help box. A. Prem and Chiranjeevi were talking, dash, themselves, among, in, by, between. B. The children were talking, dash, themselves, among, in, by, between. In sentence A, we shall insert among and in sentence B, we shall insert between. Are you sure? Think over it again. Madam, I am a little confused. All right, I shall help you. Frame a sentence using the word between. Mm, Ravana is sitting between Rama and Krishna. That's perfect. You framed it properly. Now, look at the sentence on the screen. I got it, teacher. In sentence A, we can write between because Prem and Chiranjivi are talking. There are only two children. And in sentence B, we can write among because many children are talking among themselves. That's perfect. So, today we are going to discuss a very important topic in English, that is prepositions. Let's study the definition of prepositions first. Definition Preposition is a word used before a noun or a pronoun and they show the relationship between them and other words in a sentence. There are more than 100 prepositions in the English language. We need to remember that preposition usually convey concepts such as comparison, direction, place, purpose, source, possession, time. Example A. I prefer to read in the library. B. He climbed up the ladder. C. He swam across the pool. D. Take your brother with you. E. I am fond of music. Further, we will study about various types of prepositions. Types of preposition Broadly speaking, there are three types of prepositions. That is, time, place and direction. Time before, after, during. Place, around, between, against. Direction, across, up, down. Now, let us check the list of prepositions. There are almost 150 prepositions in the English language. Let us have a look at the most important and most commonly used. As I told you earlier, one should be thorough with the rules of grammar. Let us have a look at the most confusing preposition. Ram, you got a little confused while responding to the queries asked initially seen on the screen. Let us try to clear the confusion by understanding the rules and the proper usage of the given confusing prepositions. Uses of the preposition The first on our list are at in, on. Always remember students, at is used with the names of small tours and villages while in is used with big cities and countries. Example, A. He lives at Bandra in Mumbai. In is used for a period of time. We shall leave at 4 o'clock in the morning. He came to school on Monday. On is used with particular dates and days. 2. In, into. In denotes rest while into denotes motion. Example. They went into the house and sat in the room. 3. On, upon. On is used for a thing at rest while upon is generally denotes motion. 
Example, the lion sprang upon the deer and left it on the stone slab. 4. In, within, before. In marks the end of a period. Within denotes before expiry of time. Before is used for a point of time. Example, 1. The house will be painted in a week. 2. Come back within an hour. 3. I will pay my fees before the end of this month. 5. After, in. After marks the end of a certain period in the past, while in stands for the end of a period in future. Example, 1. They returned after a year. 2. He will finish the course in a year. 6. After, behind. After refers to time, while behind refers to a place. Example, 1. The play started after 8 p.m. 2. The boy stood behind the tree to hide from his friends. 7. By. By is used to denote the agent of the action in the passive voice and with denotes the instrument used for the action. Example. 1. The ball was kicked by the boy. 2. I write with a pencil. By, with. By is used in a sense beside, alone, in respect of, not later than, and according to. With is used to show in spite of and at certain times. Example 1. All the solutions for the problems were typed by me. 2. My brother was willing to come with me for the interview. By, till. By stands for not later than, while till means up to. Example, 1. I will leave home by 7 o'clock. 2. They will stay with me till Thursday. Since, for, from. Since is used for a point of time, while for is used for a period of time. And from is used for a point of time. Example, 1. We have not met since last month. 2. She has been in bed for a week. 3. He has to pay the fees from September. 11. Between, among. Between is used with two persons. Among is used with a bigger number. Example, 1. He stood between the two of us. 2. The thieves quarrelled among themselves. 12. Beside, besides. Beside denotes by the side of, while besides means in addition to. Example, 1. His house is beside the park. 2. Besides having a good bank balance, he has a huge property. 13. About denotes nearness. Example 1. She is about to leave for the show. 14. Against shows in opposition to something or someone. Example 1. I did it against my will. 15. Along means by the side of. Example 1. The horse galloped along the river. 16. Across denotes from one side to the other. Example, 1. The man swam across the river to reach the other side. 17. Above shows in a higher position. Example, 1. She stands above the rest. Students, prepositions are also used to complete phrases such as 1. Faith in Example, we should have faith in humanity. 2. Exception to. Example, this project is an exception to all others assigned earlier. 3. Control over. Example, we all must have control over our emotions to move through life smoothly. 4. 
complaint against example it is not appropriate to complain against anyone 5 limit to example there ought to be a limit to the kindness shown to an evil person 6 hope of example one should keep the hope of a new dawn alight in their mind 7 affection for example with the passing time my affection for my family has grown remember all the essential pointers joyous beer learning friends